The video that you are about to see is not just any old hunt. <laughs> there was a very specific purpose behind this get together. You may know Rulf Foster from the channel AirTag Hunting. He's also a good friend of mine and he's my business partner at Patriot Slugs. Now our javelin slug design has been very popular but we don't want to just rest on our laurels. We constantly want to be testing new stuff and we now have new uh, production techniques that allow us to go from a CAD design to a finished product in the space of just a few days. So we want to use that opportunity and, and constantly do new testing, test different ogives, meat plats, different bases, um, different lead formulas, all kinds of stuff. And um, recently we got together to do some real world testing. And that's what you're going to see today. To make things even better, we are also joined by Hein Froman, reigning WRABF Benchrest World Champion and FX employee tasked with barrel research and development. The three of us have met up in Cape Town to test some barrels and slugs. Let's see where the day takes us. So it's quarter to seven now. Had an early start this morning, got up at like five o'clock and headed out here to a, a new spot that, that Rulf found. And the goal today is to just, uh, well, to spend time together as friends. It's been a long time since I've, I've seen Rulf. And um, we've got uh, a new javelin or new Patriot slug design that we want to just test out. So we spent yesterday at the, the Patriot shop doing 40 meter testing, finding what velocities it likes and stuff like that. And now we're going to do a real world test in real world conditions with the wind and with everything out here shooting pigeons. So we're just doing a quick zero check. And after the zero check's done, we'll wait for the sun to come up and we'll get going. Should be a fun day. It is a chilly, misty morning, but as the sun starts to rise, it's time to get shooting. Hein's experience is mostly with bench shooting, but he'll never say no to popping a few pigeons. And while he unfortunately doesn't have a scope cam mounted, we did catch one or two of his shots on oh, camera. Oh, <laughs> that was solid. Eh? <laughs> Rulf and I set up facing the opposite direction, looking out towards some pylons between 150 and 200 meters away, hoping to see how the new slugs performed at extended ranges. For context, the previous day had been spent in a more controlled environment, shooting groups indoors with no external conditions. We'd tested uh, over a Doppler radar to measure ballistic coefficient. We had uh, shot groups and these prototype slugs had basically performed the same as the javelins if not ever so slightly better however the real test is always in outdoor conditions shooting with crosswinds with turbulence because slugs need to be able to handle turbulence and stuff like that otherwise there's pretty much no point shooting them outdoors right what we found was that the particular design that we were testing appeared to be very stable in the air but was dropping lower than expected indicating that the ballistic coefficient was probably lower than we had originally measured. We were able to do a BC calibration by observing the point of impact at extreme distances and simply working out the drop. If you know the muzzle velocity and you can measure the atmospheric conditions at the time of shooting, you can triangulate and work out the BC. Oh, there you go. Okay, I think I found my aim point now. We also found them to prefer lower speeds while the javelins preferred higher speeds. This taught us what we needed to know about the new ogive and knee plat designs and the way that they behave in certain uh, oncoming airflow conditions. 
Of course, if you are trying to make a slug for high power shooting, but it only performs below 800 feet per second, oh. then something <laughs> has to change. 158 meters, straight on. <laughs> yes. Frustratingly, my scope cam was giving me some serious problems freezing on me all the time. I just assumed that all of these shots were being recorded, but when I reviewed the footage, there was only one that had been saved. Roof scope cam, thankfully, was performing perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I was dialed 15 mils instead of 5. Yeah. Once we had corrected the BC, we started hitting birds consistently at over 160 meters, but the thing is, the existing javelins were doing exactly the same and were actually a little more forgiving at high speeds. So although the new design had ticked all the boxes, it wasn't quite at the point where we would call it an improvement over the javelins. So I'd say there's still lots of work to be done. The exciting thing is that we've learned a lot over the testing process and we've identified um, certain design aspects that we know we can improve on. So it's only a matter of time until we have something that is better than what is out there at the moment. <laughs> no, 77 meters. <laughs> <laughs> This sequence for me was just insane. Just look at how consistently yeah. Rolf was able to hit these birds at over 160 meters. There was a little bit of wind, but once he got his hold right, he was just absolutely slamming them. Wow. <laughs> Another 160 shot, there's more. Oh, down he goes as well. Yeah. <laughs> Another one. And he goes as well. Okay, two more. Another one. I'm going to hold it a little higher here just because it's a little further. Oh, down he goes as well. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, one more. Uh, this one is a bit hidden. Okay, let's go for this one. Oh, down he goes as well. <laughs> one more. Oh, nicked him. That's close. I think the wind died down now. The feathers drifting past here are from pigeons that I was hitting with my impact. Well, I was sitting right next to Rolf and taking shots. Double teaming with air guns this quiet works very well. The birds have absolutely no idea what's going on at these distances. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> it goes as well.
Nee, ik kan niet. Ik kan niet meer dragen. Oh, die bent het nou weer meer opgekomen. Oh, hij is down. <laughs> Two meters. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> this gun is accurate. That was 180 meters. Short video today, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I wasn't really planning to make a video of this trip, but Nicole came with me with the camera, and I thought it would be fun to share with you what a like a testing day looks like, and just to show kind of the team dynamic between myself and Rolf and Hein. Um, it's always cool to have people um, very experienced with the slug development and also the barrel development side coming together because you know those two components work hand in hand. Um, I think we still have so much to learn and we certainly don't claim to have the best slugs around or the perfect slugs but that's the exciting thing. Um, we're in a space where we can continue pushing the envelope and continue bringing out stuff and testing stuff that no one's really tested before or people may have tested before but haven't really put into production so yeah exciting stuff ahead in the future and i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't already done so and be sure to check out rulf's channel as well air tech hunting i'll put links below and i'll see you guys next time